everybody this is dream and today we have a 12 game major league baseball slate before i get started can you guys smash that like and subscribe button shout out to the uh, youtube members too really do appreciate you guys support let's go and get in the slate so we'll start with our pitchers here uh why is this messed up okay um so we're gonna start with strider now strider's got a expensive price here on the slate at twelve thousand eight hundred dollars he's facing a team he should be able to dominate obviously and he is capable of a gigantic game He's averaged 30 fantasy points a game against Philadelphia this season, but uh, and he's capable of a lot of strikeouts as a result. So I do like his upside, though his price is super expensive, and there's not a lot of great value in the pitching today. So he is a great option. He is a good option, but he's going to be tough to roster. Luis Casilla is in a good great spot here for Seattle against Oakland. Oakland is playing really bad, and he's been over 25 fantasy points in four of the last five games he's played. And he's good upside here, and he's 1,500 cheaper than Strider, and he feels a lot safer as well. He did score 30 fantasy points against them earlier this season with eight strikeouts uh, and just four hits in that game. Uh, then we'll look at Blake Snell for uh, San Diego, who's facing Colorado. He's been very ex uh, consistent throughout the season. He's also averaging 27 fantasy points against Colorado in two games. Uh, he's got a good strikeout potential here as well, and he's got great upside. He's also, uh, in the last 10 games, he's had no games under 17 fantasy points, which is nice. And he's also got big-time upside here, so he's a very good option on the slate and has a lot of upside. All three of those guys have a lot of potential today, and so I do like them a lot. So then looking at some value pitchers, we'll look at Peapot for the Dodgers. Now he's placing Detroit, which gives him some upside here. He's only played a few games, but in those few games, he's been pretty good in a fantasy perspective. His price has come up as a result, but he is a capable option today, and he's facing a team that is struggling so i like his upside uh, then we'll look at schmidt for the yankees he's facing toronto and this is probably the toughest matchup for a pitcher that i'm going to talk about today but he had one really good game against toronto and toronto has been capable of bad games occasionally uh, he has uh some good upside here he does have a low floor though so to keep that in mind uh, but he is capable of a decent game and getting enough strikeouts to pay off is definitely in his in the house of cards today so he is a capable pitcher but he's high risk high reward maybe in our catchers here we have some good options on the slate uh so in fact catcher is probably one of the deeper positions on this one uh so it was kind of hard to get them down to just a few but anyway i do like william Contreras for milwaukee he's hitting the ball pretty well with a 316 average over the last 10 games he hasn't done well against St. Louis this season, but he's capable of a big game here, and he has really good metrics for a home run as well, which he is capable of in different situations. Hebert Ruiz for the for the uh, Nationals is in play. Now, he's not been particularly great throughout the season, but he has home run potential. He's kind of a boomer bust play, but he's nice and cheap and gives you some uh, upside here. Uh, then we'll look at uh, Wilson, uh, Wilson Contreras for St. Louis. Now, he's got... He's been hitting the ball extremely well at four home runs in his last 10 games he's played. He hasn't been playing every day, but he is a capable hitter. He's also had some good multi-hit games, and he's been paying off even without home runs. So he's definitely a great option on the slate. He's hitting the ball well, and he's got great metrics for this particular game. And then Cal Raleigh uh, for Seattle. He looks like a very good option today as well. He's kind of a boomer bust guy too because he is kind of home runner bust lately, but he is capable of a big game here. Uh, not so much... He hasn't had a whole lot of multi-hit games lately, but he is capable of them occasionally. Uh, and But he does need to have a home run probably to pay off on this particular slate. Then we'll look at Freddie Freeman here at first base. Now Freeman is hitting the ball uh, pretty well throughout the season, and he has nice home run potential. He's only had one home run in the last few games, uh, but he has hit a, a couple of stolen bases recently, which is boosting his stats. Uh, he does need to hit a home run, though, to pay off at this price point, and he has been a little bit inconsistent recently from that perspective. Josh Naylor is in play with a 360 average over the last 10 games. He is a core play for me. He's hitting the ball very well. Seeing it great, having a lot of good fantasy point days. Even without home runs, he's paying off a lot, so he's got multi-hit potential coming out of his uh, arms today, and I like his upside. Uh, Nathaniel Lowe also in play today for Texas, as he has a good matchup here. He has some home run potential today, though he's been somewhat inconsistent throughout the season. He has good metric matchups. In certain places, he looks like a really good option on this slate. Maybe in the second base, we'll look at Ozzie Albies for the, for the Braves. Excuse me. Uh, he's been pretty inconsistent throughout the season, but he is hitting the ball decently well. He also has good home run potential, and he did hit one yesterday. He's had a couple of home runs the last couple of games. He's also had a bunch of multi-hit games in the stretch. He's hitting the ball and seeing it very well, so I like his upside. His price is very expensive, though. 
which does make it hard to roster him. Same goes for Mookie Betts. He's been hitting very well throughout the season, though he's been in a slump recently. Uh, he definitely does have good potential, but he's got to get out of the slump that he's in right now. But he can hit a home run and pay off here in any in any moment. So uh, if he is if he does hit a home run today, he'll be somebody that you probably wish you'd put in your lineup if nobody at second base does well. Uh, Gleyber Torres is also in play today. Uh, he's hit, been somewhat inconsistent throughout the season. He does have some home run upside here. He's actually been hitting a couple of multi-hit games the last five, so that gives him some utility. Though he is a little high risk, high reward, but his price is cheap enough that he's a capable option on the slate. Uh, then we'll look at Luis Garcia uh, for uh, Washington. He's kind of a Hail Mary play today. He's not a huge home run hitter, but he's a good base hitter sometimes. He's had some good multi-hit games, though he has hit some home runs recently. I don't expect him to hit a home run, but he uh, does have some potential today. Kind of a contrarian, cheap option. And then Jimenez for Cleveland. Uh, he has some nice upside today. He's hitting the ball very well, averaging almost 10 fantasy points a game over the last 10 games. He's very capable of a good multi-hit game. He doesn't really hit a ton of home runs, but he's capable of them. And he's a nice a position option on the slate. Uh, looking at Jose Ramirez... Uh, for Cleveland is also a good option today. He's hitting the ball very well, averaging 12 fantasy points over the last 10 games. He's had a bunch of really good games in a row, and he doesn't even need to hit a home run to pay off, but he is capable of it, and he is hitting the ball very well. Austin Riley has been somewhat inconsistent throughout the season, but he's hitting the ball pretty well right now. Uh, I wish he was getting a little bit more in the fantasy points and not striking out so much, but he is capable of it as he's had a bunch of multi-hit games, and he does have home run potential as well. Uh, Michael Garcia... Uh, he comes up as a decent option uh, occasionally for oopsie, uh, for Kansas City, and this situation definitely gives him some utility. He is high risk, high reward, as he's not a huge home run hitter, but he is capable of multi-hit games occasionally and getting double-digit fantasy points. Uh, but he is, again, high risk, high reward here. Uh, then we'll look at Perez for the Yankees. He's also, oopsie, wrong guy, uh, Oswald Perez. Uh, for the Yankees, as he draws some good metrics for this game. He's also hit the ball pretty well in the last 10 games he's played. He's been inconsistent so far this season. Obviously, he doesn't play every single day, but he has been playing more recently, and he looks like he's been hitting pretty uh, decent. Uh, his lows are pretty low, but his, but he does have some good potential on the slate. Uh, then we'll look at Corey Seager for Texas. Now, he's hit the ball very well all season long. He's been kind of in a slump, but he uh, and he's not hitting... He's not striking out a ton, but he, does, he has been somewhat in a slump recently, though he is capable of a big game here and has some nice upside. He's high risk, high reward, because he does need a home run to pay off. Uh, Bobby Witt Jr., also in play for Kansas City. He's been somewhat inconsistent throughout the season, but right now he's hitting the ball very well. He's not hitting as many home runs, but he is hitting a lot of multi-hit games, and he draws really good metrics for this game. Uh, then we'll look at C.J. Abrams for Washington. He draws some good potential for stolen bases. He's also hitting the ball pretty well recently. He's got some home run upside, and he and the way he's still in bases is hard to ignore. He does need to steal a space or hit a home run though to pay off at this position. And then Volpe uh, for the Yankees also in play today. He has not been very good lately, but he is getting some stolen bases and he has been scoring some good fantasy points the last few games. He's not a huge home run threat today, but he is capable of a big game on the slate. Maybe the outfielders, we'll look at Ronald Acuna Jr. first, who obviously is a autoplay most days. He's been scoring fantasy points in bunches, though that's also made his price come up to crazy amounts, making him extremely hard to roster, being nearly $7,000, but he is definitely a capable option on the slate and a great matchup. Uh, Aaron Judge also in play today, though he's very boomer bust right now. He's kind of taking the Giancarlo Stanton uh, route, where he's just trying to hit home runs every time he th gets a pit and he pitch, and he's... Striking out a bunch as a result. Uh, Stanton also in play today as well, just a note for him, but he's also been more extreme even. Uh, he does need to hit a run to pay off as his judge on this particular slate. Alvarez also in play for Houston. Now he's uh, been really good recently with three home runs the last 10 games. He's not striking out a ton, which is definitely nice. He's got multi-hit potential and good fantasy point production. Corbin Carroll also in play today. Um, let's see. Uh... I really like his potential on this slate, though he's high risk, high reward. Um, he does uh, have some stolen base potential as well, but he has been somewhat inconsistent hitting the ball recently. But he, his price definitely is a little bit of a concern here, but he's capable of, big, of a good game in this matchup with plus metrics. 
Uh, Juan Soto was very close to being a core play. In fact, I think he probably should have been uh, now that I look think about him more. Um, he is averaging almost 17 fantasy points a game over the last 10 games. He's been absolutely having monster games. He's hitting home runs too, which is nice. Uh, he draws, but he doesn't have to hit a home run to pay off as he had scored 14 fantasy points yesterday against the Colorado. Now, this game is in San Diego, so you keep that in mind, but he's a great option on the slate. I really like his upside, and he has a lot of potential, and he's a lot cheaper than Acuna uh, with just as much upside today. Uh, then we'll look at Brantley, who is a core play for me as well. Houston uh, has some good metrics for this game against Baltimore. Um, he's been somewhat inconsistent so far since playing, but he's really not striking out much. As you can see, he's only had a couple of strikeouts on the season so far in his uh, 12 games he's played. He's had two strikeouts. It's just a matter of hitting the ball in the right place and getting the home run to fly. Uh, he's cheap enough that he's worth a look here as he's also got some nice uh, uh, base hitting potential here. Uh, I already mentioned Stanton. Uh, Stephen Kwan also in play for Cleveland. Now, he's not a huge home run hitter, but he is capable of a big game here. He has some stolen base potential as well, uh, but he has multi-hit potential, and he's nice, nice and cheap and gives you a lot of upside here at this price. And then finally, last but not least, Dalton Varsho for Toronto. Uh, he's high risk, high reward, as he's kind of a home runner best play today, but he is capable of a big game, and he's hitting the ball pretty well the last couple games, and I like his upside as a result. So with that said, guys, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below, and have a nice day, guys.